and you went with them, wild at heart, northwest on the crooked street to Damon, then south and west to her place, to reminisce and get a bit wasted on wine. Her friend was a young Ukrainian girl with pale skin and round blue eyes and short winter blonde hair. They treated each other like true angels and drew butterflies with chalk and pastels on everything. They tried to draw one on his stomach one night when he was crashed on Cass's sofa, but he slept light. She was 23 and the Ukrainian girl, 20. The three of them hit it off fine along with the Ukrainian girl's boyfriend and spent nights together in the equally small apartments on the third and first floors of the same three-story flat set back from the small dirty avenue Washtenaw near Division. He was back in the swing with Cass and they went for drives through the west side ghetto in her friend's car. She hung her leg out the car window and the streetwalkers told her, that's going to get shot off, sugar. And she acted tough, but brought her leg in and did her lipstick in the side view mirror. They were solicited by the glut of the decade's favorite hustle on the streets. Love began to sprout between them on these rides. What with and despite the outrageousness of it all, the danger, it had become a common adventure for lack of anything better to do. Shit, it beat the lifeless sedation of television. When he broke out the buck knife, he passed soulful days with on the trail cutting switches for the fire and locked and unlocked the blade. She showed him love so strong, he rarely made it to the bedroom. The cycle was back. They fought and broke up and acted like children who stomped their feet and see red and the cold mile between their places seemed impassable, but they would leave messages and miss each other's touch, then come back together clear and with passion renewed. She turned his photograph of Bella face down on the Irish linen in his place. There was ash in his candles now, bloody tampons floating in the toilet. Shirts hung in the closet between hangers she had stripped naked. Towels were missing. His shirts worn out the door. She was a self-confessed thief, and her hands shook when empty. And in his own way, and familiar, he loved her. <laughs>